and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it is me, Duke CT, and welcome to <laughs> the Duke CT Lounge. Thank you much, everyone, and hopefully you're having a great Wednesday evening. Hope you're having a nice one, as I am, I'm feeling good, I hope y'all feeling good as well. It is, it is 10 p.m., and a nice, chill Wednesday evening, and it's nice, and the you know, it's spring is in the air. It's lovely. The, the cherry blossoms are blooming and the people are chilling. We are here and hopefully you guys are here with me, Duke C.T. Now, there are many, many things I can talk about here, little boys and girls. There are some things that are, you know, you know there are some things that have been, uh, <laughs> you know, <clears throat> going on recently and it's mostly in the video game world in the video game world we have had some very interesting news electronic arts <laughs> has gone through a bit of a rough patch this 2019 even though apex legends they seem people as liking it i haven't played it yet it looks fun but they're not much of the old arena battlefield stuff. But, you know, maybe when uh, my PC gets up to snuff and I get a bigger, better computer PC. Which, by the way, if you want to donate to that, I'll have my PayPal donate link there. So you can you know, give me the, the money. Give me money now! <laughs> so I can get a better PC. But PC's fine. They can play some good games. But not the high-end, 3D, big, booming graphic stuff that... You know, the kids like nowadays, so yeah. So yeah, I'm pretty much going to be in a, you know, unless someone's going to do that for me for free or I get at least enough people to show up and actually start liking my content enough so I can be like, hey, you know, this guy, you know, this Duke CT fella, it's not a bad dude. <laughs> or I just, you know, I somehow get enough uh, cash in, um, you know, in my, and, you know, jobs and everything else, so, who knows what the future can bring, but, we're gonna be here, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be here, uh, so, yeah, we're gonna be here, we're gonna sit back and, and look into, um, you know, uh, just sit back and talk about some stuff about EA, so let's get back into it, EA has gone through a bit of a rough patch, and, um, <laughs> Um, you know, you look at, for example, what's going on with Anthem. Anthem is still messed up. <laughs> um, and all the crazy stuff that's been happening. And more bugs. More, like, again, it just can't win. This new update for Anthem, links will be in the description. Uh, this is via by GameSpot. Uh, link in the description. It is, it says right here. It says, EA and BioWare have released a new update for Anthem, and it's a big one. Now, the update is not allowed, it adds several new features to the multi, uh, full, multiplayer focus action game, including something called Legendary Missions. As well as changes to boot, master works, the evidence, and a quite bit more. However, some players have already raised complaints about the new problems involving loot. Oh, sorry about that. Um, as detailed in the patch notes, Legendary to critical path missions. From now on, one critical path mission per day will be available through for repeated th playthroughs. You can replay these missions on Legendary for added challenge that requires team coordination to achieve victory. So, another thing is the patch notes don't reveal whether the higher risk will necessarily result in higher rewards. Joy! <laughs> so, just basically is saying... You're just wasting more of your time, boys and girls, by playing this game. Um, uh, but yeah, here it is. Another thing, and um, uh, but you know, a lot of people said there's a lot of loot changes. Some things is gonna be here for all that good stuff. But here's the, another problem. Uh, a post on Reddit, which you know, you take the highest and out of salt, and and such. <laughs> uh, you take with the biggest and out of salt ever. Is that the game functions um, outlines, including the masterworks, are not guaranteed from stronghold bosses. Um, Tons of players to leave before defeating it, um, and 
there are, and there's still some of these issues. And I sit there and I'm like, Anthem is just going to these more and these big, huge messes. And, and by the way, go check out Young Yi. Uh, Young Yeah. Uh, he really gets in more into details about this. And, you know, man, this dude really does his work. So, pray uh, this dude gets it. So, go up and, um, you know, uh, subscribe to him. He's actually really cool. Uh, go, good, uh, good YouTuber. Don't know him, but by gosh, he actually has some really cool content. Go subscribe to him. And to maybe if you tell him that, you know, I was here by Dukes today, maybe he'll give me a shout out so I can at least maybe get one or two extra subscribers. <laughs> okay. Uh, but anyway, um, but EA itself, oh wow, let's talk about EA itself. Bugs in the game of one thing. But here it is, we're um, breaking right now today. EA is laying off 350 employees, and not only that, ramping down operations in Japan and Russia. And then later on, it has been recurred to a report, has EA has closed its Japanese office entirely. Yes. The entire Japanese division of EA has been, I mean, not division, but the the uh, Japanese office is EA has been deleted. It has been uh, deleted. And now it is here. And now in Russia, but the Russia has been shut down. And I don't know, this is getting a little bit hectic, a little bit crazy. And here's a statement, uh, EA. Um, this is from an email, from, this is from The Verge. Um, let's see. And anyone want to talk about this or get your thoughts on this and such, call in. Uh, you can call in and you can uh, call in uh, via the internet. You can just use a connected phone to click. Bam! Bam! You have a mic. You have a microphone. You got a headset. And you can just go in there and talk to me, Duke CT Live here on the internet. You can talk to here. Or uh, you can use the t uh, the uh, the uh, t uh, the uh, <clears throat> uh, the phone, the call in number. And remember, the call in number is six zero five. Five six two zero four four four. Once again, the number is six zero five five six two zero four four four. And the show ID to connect to me, Duke CT, is nine two four one seven. Once again, it's nine two four one seven to connect to me, Duke CT. And if you can't do all of that, that's okay. The chat room is on lock, so we can have these things. You can sit and chat with me and such. And also. If you can't chat me on the site, uh, something I have my little Discord. You can go in there and talk your head off. Uh, the Discord link will be in the description as well. Um, you can sit there, talk to Duke C Productions. Uh, there's a live stream thing. You can uh, your live stream channel where I'm live stream. You can come in and talk with me. I, I did with um, <clears throat> with the cool Fox Quarter uh, and such. A uh, really cool guy. Also. Um, Shin, Dragon Slayer, um, and by the way, anyone else who wants to come in and talk with the me and Duke CT, but there's only four people, so it doesn't become a madhouse and such. I want to have a little bit crazy, but that, um, like Kofi Kingston, uh, that control frenzy as a, uh, <clears throat> Uh, certain, um, you know, commentator said in WWE, a former commentator. Matt Stryker, uh, you know, said about that controlled frenzy, and that's it. I also have a regular voice chat. We sit back and chill and talk and everything else. Uh, pro wrestling, sports, uh, channels as well, general area, who you can talk and do all that type of stuff. Uh, uh, you know, to have a little bit of that conversational stuff. And I'll try to add some more things uh, later on. And if people want to have a demand for it, you can always talk to me via private, or just, you know, talk to me out there, we can always work this Discord, because it is an extension of you guys who want to come in, and be in the Duxie Lounge, I love that, and I love all of your comments, the, all the people who come in here and talk, and such, um, and use, and come in here and talk with the Duxie Teen Lounge, and everything else, so, you know, all the good stuff here, so, once again, yeah, you know, uh, everyone have a good time, here on the Duke City Lounge. Hmm. But uh, anyway, here we are with, <laughs> uh, you know, with EA. And the, I mean, the difficult times and such about, you know, everyone's looking at what's going on. 
uh, with EA, and people are worried about this stuff. And I, I'm I'm a little worried too. But then again, EA they say in a statement, <clears throat> and I quote, EA said that it's taking steps, important steps as a company, to address our challenges, and did and did not and and that it did not take these decisions lightly. We are deeply focused on increasing quality in our games and services, the game said. And you know, here's the great thing here. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, gosh, by the CEO of EA, Andrew Wilson. He says right here, I love this quote. Um, he says, we have a vision to be the world's greatest games company. <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> but that if we were honest with ourselves, we're not there right now. And he's been, uh, the thing is, Wilson has been the CEO of EA since uh, 2013. We took over John Rick Ricky Tello. I'll probably mispronounce that. I apologize. It looks like, uh, yeah, at this point. It looks like EA is going to be a lot more of a restructuring and such. I mean, their Japanese division is now gone. The Russian office has been cut down. Um, you know, here's the hope that, um, that maybe EA, this is going to wake them up and maybe try to get back to basics and not nickel and dime the consumer. But... Again, I won't be surprised by all of this because once again, here we are, EA being EA, and EA is terrible. Because at this point, I just I all I ask is for good games, and EA has made good games. Hell, they've made great games, um, but they haven't done anything in a long while. They haven't done anything that will make anyone. Uh, say, wow, this is actually pretty good. This is something, um, you know, um, you know, um, and, and, and inside. Um, but it's frustrating. It's a, it's a frustrating thing about EA and everything, what's going on with that. Because I, I believed in the uh, EA that could be something really good. If not good, if not great. There's something there with EA that they have done. Like I said, in the past, they have made great games. Heck, they have produced and, you know, had the, the studios to do so. Um, you know, and uh, people, you know, you know uh, and, and such. There's always been, I, I do look and I worry about EA. Because, once again, it's not just EA goes down. They're going to look into other of these corporations. You look at what Bioware. You know, Bioware, you know, people look at Boulder's Gate, uh, Nice World Public, but, you know, the same thing did Jade Empire. That's my first Bioware game. Uh, Jade Empire, Mass Effect, um, and, and, and other things that has, you know, there's been such good, if not great, games that Bioware has, you know, I look at Bioware and all the stuff, the games, and they have made, and, and I worry. I worry about this stuff. I worry uh, for stuff. I mean, heck, no, no, scratch that. But wasn't um 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 you know uh, Jade Empire? It was MDK two. MDK two was the first um uh, was the first Bioware game I played. It was on the Dreamcast, and I loved it. Uh, you know. And I, I wish they could do more with that. By the way, um, they're you know, hmm. oh yeah, I I might go get the Wii version because I heard the Wii version is not that you know, that empty gate uh, Wii version. It's not that bad. I might have to pick that up. Well, uh, yeah, because I uh, <laughs> yeah. But here's hoping. Um, but here's hoping we, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, so yeah, I, I wish we could, uh, you know, I'll, 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 you know, Bioware and everything else, the, the, the greatness that is Bioware, it just, you know, it, it has been a, 
just a really, you know, it's a shame because, you know, this could be something, there could be something really good. But in the end, it does seem that there is going to be these issues that won't make, uh, you know, it doesn't seem that there's going to be that nice little, you know, it just seems like EA and Bioware. I wouldn't be surprised if you have that little, you know, another, you know, next year we might be hearing that Bioware, well, is DOA. And now on all the former people are going to make a, their own version of these games and and then in EA in 2021 will announce a new Mass Effect game. You know, just be a uh, mobile app game full of microtransactions. I don't want that to be its future. But it looks like every day it seems to be going into it. This is the future Bioware chose. Hmm. It's a shame. Oh, well. Oh, well. Um... Anyway, we'll be right back right after this, and we're going to be talking a little bit about wrestling, as we're going to talk a little about, um, you know, Asuka's, well, you know, bizarre, you know, a title run, and then a SmackDown, but also Cody Rhodes talking about All Elite Wrestling and WrestleMania Week's WrestleMania Week, which is interesting. We're going to take a small break, and we're going to listen to some music. Let's listen to something good. Let's listen to some more. Some Super Mario RPG Window to the Stars. Let us listen to that because that's a great song. Great stuff like that. Let us listen to that on, you know, that's from OC Remix. Go and listen to OC Remix. They're, they're great. They're awesome. Alright, uh, um, let's listen to some All Bark, No Bite. And nobody beware the forest mushrooms. Or maybe, no, no. Uh, you know what? I haven't played this one. You dirty, you nasty, but you mind. The Moville Mountain Railroad from XPRT Novice. So let's lay a listen to that here live in the Dixie Lounge. We'll be right back right after this. And uh, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for doing that. Because, dang, that song was a bit fun, huh, boys and girls? Woo-wee, a little bit of that soul. Gosh, that was good. Super Mario RPG is a great game. And, you know, people should be looking more into that. Because it is great. And it is awesome. So, um... Anyway, let's get into the let's get into let's get into small to WrestleMania. The road to WrestleMania, where there's gonna be a main event of champions. We have Becky Lynch, a Royal Rumble winner. Then we have Ronda Rousey fighting for the and defending her Raw Women's Championship while she's breaking cafe and trying to be edgy and cool, but in the end just looking really awkward and silly. And then you have Charlotte who is a SmackDown Women's Champion because why not? Oh yes, ladies and gentlemen, Charlotte is your SmackDown Women's Champion, and Oscar takes the L to Charlotte again. Nah. <laughs> well, that was fun. <laughs> yes, yeah, Charlotte took a oh Charlotte wins. 
again, and there's the other L. The L that is, she cannot beat Charlotte Flair. And I am surprised by this. Now it's women, and now Oscar sits in a cold, probably in a, you know, the whole, Oscar will probably get a nice little Commons trophy for having the women's championship, have a women's battle royal, because why not? Oscar, the Empress, can just take another L. Uh, because honestly, make it more convoluted. Mm. Or they're going to put Oscar in there and have, you know, it would be really nice have Oscar versus, uh, Oscar versus, um, Charlotte versus Becky versus Ronda. I wanted this, but not as, as convoluted as it wants to be. I don't think it was possible to set up an easy singles match, but less now they've made it so convoluted and, and, uh, and, and into a pretzel, it makes basically the Vince Russo. It's like basically just called up Vince Russo, uh, Vince Russo, and said, "Hey man, we need you to help us out. We we, we run out of ideas with this Becky Lynch and and uh, Becky Lynch and uh, uh, Ronda Rousey. Can you hook us up with some ideas? Oh yeah, yeah, bro, I got this, bro. Don't worry. Here you go. I sent this to you via fax. I got a little my notes. Do I need you? No, at all. Okay." And, you know, uh, yeah, you have Vince. I like this, you know. Uh, get that, Vince Russo. Uh, I owe him one, pal. And thus, here we are once again. It's insanity. It's insanity. It had the simple way to do it. Simple. Simple and easy. And then, this. This this, this whole, just, this entire sanity. This insanity to basically make, Why? Why are you doing this? It makes no logical. It just makes no logical sense. <laughs> it makes no logical sense to put all this insanity and craziness on. Um, um, you know, it just makes no sense. It just, you know, you're, you're building all this stuff up to. Um, Uh, for, you know, Ronda Rousey and, you know, trying to make Ronda Rousey and Becky Lynch important. You know, fine. Becky Lynch and Ronda Rousey, that would have been a really good match. Yeah, Charlotte, hey, that's pretty cool. And Oscar, yeah, that would be awesome. But there's no, the way they've messed this thing up and made it a convoluted mess is just so, ah, it's sad. Because it's simple, but yet they kept screwing things up. And I don't know who this is. I don't know who made this storyline or who thought this was going to be good. But this was the absolute pits. The storyline is actually terrible. It's it's a, this is a terrible storyline, and and I and I will not shy away from this. This is a terrible storyline. Why would Charlotte need to win win champ because of the? Uh, be, why is she SmackDown champion? Why does she did she deserve it? She lost the beat the clock challenge all because the McMahon's like her fine, but it's. Stupid! It's stupid! It's beyond stupid! And and now Oscar, who beat Becky Lynch, you know, tap made her tap out. You would think she should be more involved in this woman's storyline, which would have been great, but she's just been like an afterthought. Oscar has been an afterthought. And that is a, 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 a you know, this is not really a surprise. It's WWE can't really just do anything for this multiple people and multiple. Ch- if they were going to do something, make something interesting, they should be trying to make this interesting and actually build things up uh, naturally. Have nice storylines. Have the, the wrestlers engage, interact with each other with natural dialogue. Becky Lynch should be uh, trying to say, yeah, I'm great. Then you have Oscar saying, yeah, I tapped you out. I should have the claim. Charlotte could be like, hey, I beat you, um, you know, WrestleMania. I ended your streak. There, you can have that. And, uh, and then you have Ronda Rousey said, I beat all of you. I am the UFC um, Hall of Famer. I am beyond you all. I am undefeated. I beat you. And when you could, and Charlotte, by the way, what happened at uh, our WrestleMania? Um, uh, uh, no, you say scratch. Uh, what happened in our Survivor Series match? You couldn't beat me, so you used a kendo stick. Yeah, yeah, you couldn't take me out. You taught me all this stuff. And by the way, I love the fact that you can look. And she can look at Becky and say, you know, and I love the fact that at the end of the day, after all that happened, all you did to knock me down is basically you had to you know, sneak attack me. That's how you roll. And all the people who roll, who were booing me, all right, 
I get it. Y'all want to boo me? Okay. But trust me, y'all going to hate me even more when I break all your arms at WrestleMania. And there, it would have been easier, simple, clean, and there you go. Don't do all this type of stuff and, and try to be this type of thing here and try to make it so convoluted. And, and there, it would have been easier, simple, clean, done. Make it as simple as possible. Not try to be this work the boys, trying so hard to be, oh, we need to be ed- in the, uh, you know, trying so hard. Do you think anyone else is doing this, looking at this and stuff? Who does any other medium does this? Trying to pull the fourth wall humor so many times. And Bruce said, what about that? Deadpool only does that very, that's the point of his character. WWE and Pro Wrestling didn't usually do this. It's a recent phenomenon of them just breaking Kaf Abe and all this type of stuff. This garbage and stuff that only uh, appeals to the smallest of, uh, uh, smallest of, of fans, which is, oh, that's beautiful. No, no one cares. Here's what I would say. You know, look what everywhere else is. Look what, what look at everything in in um um in, in every you know televised medium and such, and see if they're doing the same thing you're doing, and if they're actually more popular and more culturally relevant. What are they doing? What is Marvel doing? How? What is DC doing? It looks like DC's doing a lot better of actually reconnecting people. In fact, I saw this in your own show when Kofi Kingston. What no, his friends used this opportunity to put themselves in that platform to make sure that Kofi gets it. Doesn't get a well, no, he's just asking for an opportunity and he gets it because of friendship and actually partnership and camaraderie. That is what sells today, and that is to me what WWE needs more of. And I like it, it reminded me so much of what old school like baby faces used to come down. It had that old school WCW feel. Old school WCW. When they had a baby face win the championship and everybody came out and they just hugged each other and they did that. Now I basically what they did on SmackDown, I worry that that's going to pretty much be the high point and then you have uh, Daniel Bryan lose, win and, and all the heat and everything else. Which is sucks, but I don't want that. But please, like Kofi, I mean, let's be honest. Daniel Bryan is, you know, I don't think he's gonna be a long term champion. I, I mean, he's been a long term champion since November, but I don't think he's gonna hold that belt for that quite longer. And I don't know who's gonna be his next pro- opponent. I mean, pure Bray Wyatt and such. I'm like, I don't want Bray Wyatt no more. No, let's have Kofi Kingston hold the title for a couple months, and I don't know. You can build somebody else up there. Build someone else up. Um, and it's not really the stagnant scene. You know, Daniel Bryan has his fans, but I think it's time to move on from Daniel Bryan. You know, have him, you know, he, you know, I think he had, this is a pretty good run. And eventually he can have his baby face run, um, eventually. So, you know, this heel run is great, but I want to see, you know, Kofi Kingston win the championship. That's how you get invested. That's how you have everything else here. This is what the, you need to do is have this investment and such. And honestly, I wish this was the main event because it has emotion and investment and WWE lucked into this. Because I, uh, Mustafa Ali got hurt. I mean, I mean, scratch that. You can't be Mustafa Ali. It's Ali now. As WWE hates, like, um, you know, first and last names. Um, They lucked into this. I say... Instead of a, I would have called an audible and say we're not having a woman, uh, the first time women's uh, main event match. Let's have Kofi and Brian. Let them tear the house down. Have Kofi Kingston win and have everybody walk run in there like like when Sting beat Hogan. It'll be more clean and more in, you know that sort of thing. And have everybody celebrate. It's awesome and it ends the show with a positive note with everybody in the SmackDown babyface locker room giving Kofi. Chen, Kofi, Kofi, that would be beautiful. But it looks like it's just going to be, um, you know, probably the first match of the card. Or second or third, I don't know. But it just seems like so emotion. There's so much emotion in that match. Ah, there's too much emotion in that match. And that emotion is going to be great. And I don't see that same emotion with uh, Becky Lynch and um, and Charlotte uh, and um, um, and um, Ronda. And if they put Oscar in there, it's going to be even more convoluted and not really making sense. 
or just gonna put a hot shot and have uh, Becky Lynch, I mean, have Charlotte win the lose the title or something, and some shenanigans have like Mandy Rose or like Lacey Evans win, and then have Oscar win, and have a WrestleMania moment on the pre-show. Just I just see that convoluted stuff just to build up a resume and such. You know, just I just don't care for it. And I hate the fact that it is. I don't want to be this way. I don't want it to be this way. But sadly, <sighs> that's what it feels like right now, ladies and gentlemen. And it sucks. It really sucks. Um, but yeah. Uh, what else? What can we say about this? Uh, you know, at the end of the day, hopefully this will make the match somewhat interesting, but. At this point, I just want the match over with, and we can just move on. Agreed? Agreed. And thinking of moving on, and WrestleMania, and convoluted it is. No wonder Cody Rhodes doesn't want to AEW do any more, do any uh, shows on during, um, uh, <clears throat> you know, AEW, only wrestling, do WrestleMania week shows. It's too, they don't want that convoluted stuff anywhere. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, all, I mean, they are going to, they are. Um, you know, I dare, you know, supposedly, um, you know, supposedly a fan this past couple of days ago, a couple of days ago, um, um, here's something here, da, 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 here's something, yes, from uprocks.com, um, we'll link in the description, it says, in response to a fan, Tweet him today. Cody made a claim about something AEW will never do: run a show during WrestleMania weekend. And he first tweeted, "We won't be doing a main weekend ever, ever, friend. That belongs to WWE." He also responds to another Twitter user that's also that's saying it also belongs to every other promotion that runs that show on that weekend. By saying not if WWE drew the house. It doesn't mean the sales uh, will be outstanding on my uh, will have great stars or anything. I mean, that's true. This is actually really is. The sad part is, is that WE, you know, it's it, that's that belongs to WE. I mean, and honestly, it does. It, you know, and the people say, oh, we have the greatest, but that's WE. Most of them are going to WWE. You're not going to, and it doesn't really have a fair marker of people going to shows and such. It's because they're there for WrestleMania. Your weekend, they're wrestling. You're just an indie show or any establishment. You're going to have a bigger gate because, well, they're going for WrestleMania. Are they going to stay and watch the Cup Ring of Honor? Uh, people going to watch ROH? Probably not. Heck, I watched Ring of Honor a couple years ago when I was at WrestleMania 11. Uh, WrestleMania 20, I believe it was 27? Uh uh, you know, uh, man, that was a long time ago. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was WrestleMania 27. I went to ROH, so it was fun. But I was, I was, I was, then again, I was already affiliated, not affiliated, but I was a casual Ring of Honor fan. I was a casual ROH fan. But someone who's new, are, are those new fans are going to actually be there? Are they going to stick with wrestling? Are they going to stick with the wrestling stuff? More often than not, they don't. I think what Cody Rhodes is doing here is trying to build things on their own, and I honestly respect that. Uh, respect that more is that they're not. You know, this could change, but they're like, you know what? Let's do a show without. Let's see how we stand on our own. Stand on our own and build our own stuff up. So people will say, "Oh, you're just here just to wrestle." No, 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 no. We're not just here for the WWE. We're not here for that. We're here. You know, you know, we are here, we have our numbers based on our own merits, based on our own shows, based on our own things and everything else. That's actually really good. I actually wish, you know, more, you know, organizations have that type of mindset. That at the end of the day, they should be, when you own your own, pro when you own your own business and such, you don't want to be seen just basically trying to suck everything off, you know, trying to, you know, leech on something bigger, you own everything and say, oh, I have a big own business, my shows sell out. Oh, um, you only sell out during like WrestleMania, Royal Rumble, or, you know, Survivor Series weekend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, that's what they, I like, he wants to make All Elite Wrestling the biggest event, uh, big event on their own, so they can actually challenge WWE, they can actually challenge that, and, and you know, I actually like, and if you don't think that's a good idea, I want to hear yourself in the con, uh, con uh, in the content, you know, I want 
to hear from you guys and hear about because I do like that. You know, eventually, you have to stand up on your own feet, even though he's uh, taking trying to pay pay per view names from uh, WCW, which is um, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that. Uh, but anyway, but yeah. Um, Good luck to Cody for not doing WrestleMania, not to go that route. And hey, and shout out to people who do go to WrestleMania shows. I might have been bashing them and such. It seemed like I am. But, you know, it's a great way to show there's a different alternative to WWE. And that could be the biggest platform, which is a, a good thing. But overall, I think it's something that more, I think they should be trying to build up their own stuff. And they do that throughout the year, but it seems like more people have more eyes on them. Well, oh, WrestleMania weekend, this is our best step. step. I think it should be, and besides, it should be the old try to concentrate, build their own stuff without WWE. And on top of that, if AEW did try to do more WrestleMania week shows, you're just making things more cluttered, and a lot of it just you know becomes more like okay, which show, what show, what we're gonna do here, this, that, the other. You know what I'm saying? It just it brings to be too much uh, stuff. It becomes they lost in the shuffle. So this is a way for AEW to continue this being unique and a unique entity. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen, for the show. Uh, thank you so much for watching, listening, and being here for the DC Announce. Remember, if you can watch this live, find awesome. But if you're not, how dare you? The YouTube version will be on Duke. YouTube.com says Dixie T. Also on BitChute and on FreakingAwesomeNetwork.com and on ManicExpression.com. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. It's Dixie T here. Peace and love. I will see y'all when I see y'all later. <laughs>